All right. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. How's it going? Zero did. Worm on kick your ass a lot yesterday. Uh, I think I I think I beat him like the last like after you left the time after that I pretty much beat him. It was in the next city. Uh the Igloo City. Uh Whalemon was just wiping the floor with my face. I think we need to go uh, go at it with uh let's keep this as simple as possible way out with a different deck because everything in that deck is pretty much geared against red cards finally arrive our records don't show right, who do I want to be uh, a red guard plus 15 to long blade that'd be nice Heavy armor. Heavy long blade. Real card master beats blue cards with red cards. Your face is a red card. Yeah. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. But yeah, it's like half his cards, you know, like would have like an X effect that's like, oh, if they're red, times three damage. And you have a bunch of cards like, you know, oh, if uh, if the opposing card is red or blue, uh, yes. uh, dump all their attack power. You like, have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Shut up! I stayed in the sun too long. I thought nobody would notice. Uh, newsflash, man. Everybody notices. Uh, I want to be a warrior. Combat, strength, and endurance. Long blade, me, uh, and block. Be nice. Uh, what knight? What do knights do? Strength and personality. Long blade, axe, speechcraft, heavy armor, block. Yeah, I'll go with a night class. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? So now, normally I'd go for the warrior, so I get the plus 10 attack points. I think I'll go with the tower, so I can open up those locks. That'll make some of the later missions a little easier. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullus Gravius. Now, go around and steal a bunch of shit so I can make some money. Soviet Russia, papers show you.
There we go. Funny. to the Emperor up. Oh, did Marwin just crash? Oh, come on. This is Thief Simulator with Hero. No, this is Morrowind Crashing Simulator. Shit. Uh... Oh, oh, really? Oh, no, no autosave, really? Son of a rat, mother. Oh, better for the game to crash than your internal organs. Up. <laughs> there you go. You were dreaming. Uh, no, 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 uh, we're not, we're not playing Plague Inc. Although I should play that game again. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. <sighs> this is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. You finally arrived. Our records don't show him loyal. Okay, Imperial. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this and the choice is yours. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? The tower. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullus Gravius. Uh, back to... Back to Thief Simulator. <laughs> the stop sign. It's the, it's the no means no sign.
All right. You know what? Oh, I can't. S really? <clears throat> so I'm just at the mercy of if the game crashes because I can't save yet. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now I can save. Yes, I have your ring. It's a piece of crap, and I don't want it. I have a feeling that you and I are about to become very close. Ah, uh, stranger danger! Stranger danger! <clears throat> Get a cat named Jesus. When people ask you, have you found Jesus? Show them the cat. <laughs> uh, no, you see, my uh, a friend of mine had an even creepier mode for that. You know, uh, whenever like those like Jehovah's Witnesses or whatever would come to his door, you know, they'd be like, you know, uh, they'd be like, hi, have you found Jesus? But he'd be like, yeah, yeah, he's in my basement. Want to see? Uh, actually, I'm not even at my limit yet. Let's go get the spark sword first. And... Actually, well, I can do that on my way back. Bitter Coast region. button called dispose of the corpse yeah, the spark sword <laughs> save hero every step save uh, the game is awesome when it doesn't crash Like I was saying, you got you gotta love how like I said there's a button for dispose of the corpse. It's like it's like, hey, here's a guy who died because he was stupid. You might be blamed for it. Dispose of it. So it was the SSR then it then it crashed. <laughs> I suppose I could spare. See, I'm at 159. Now, time to be a murderer. Hey, lady. Your house is now my house. This is the end of you, sweet. Ow. I forget, like, fatigue just uh, manages, like, everything in this game. Now you die. Hey, my own armor skill went up. To my <laughs> gonna wait till my stamina comes back. You want something, friend? Yeah, the spark sword is actually really good beginning sword. Uh, another good what one being the want? viper blade, which I believe uh, you can find one in Balmora, in the guard tower. But it's a pain in the ass to get because there's like oh, there's like always guards. 
running around. Maybe try a little less erratic house. Maybe try to kill a child. Okay, my stamina, no, my stamina's back. I should be good. See, there we go. See, once I caught my second wind, then you were fucked. Dispose of the corpse. Famous last words. Uh... See, this is always the beginning of Morrowind for me. It's like, you know, hit, hit up a few places, steal as much shit as I can, sell it and actually buy and actually buy some armor. Uh, I believe that's everything. Oh no. Iron ladle. Store everything from these. I'm pretty sure I got everything from these. Yeah. You know, uh, basically, the cat, like the cat lady, knocked a few teeth out, and you went outside. Had a wank, had a wank, and fucked her up in the bum. Pretty much. <laughs> hey, Elrin, how's it going, buddy? Here, got shit kicked in by the cat lady. Chicken saute and rice. Mmm. Sounds delicious. Alright. Sleep till about seven in the morning, I'd say. So that's So that's wait, that's one PM. So twelve. Eleven. Oops. So it'll be twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. It's so about eighteen hours. Yeah, now it's 7 a.m. Now let's go sell all this shit that I've accumulated. And buy some armor. Alright, don't need the dagger. to ride up to the shop uh, to get chicken. Much nicer with a bike for a 15 minute round trip instead of 60. <laughs> you know those free Xbox codes that people give out? We go, get all the codes, and we, we don't even have an Xbox. Then we rule the world! Cue maniacal laughter. Journal, no trace car, package. I want to save those just in case I need them later. I want to keep the lockpick. Hey, why do you have why do you have all this random shit? Uh, I found it. Oh, really? Where'd you find it? Nowhere. Okay. So well, I don't need a weapon because I got the spark sword. That's good for now. Armor. 
Uh, need a shield. Let's see, there's an iron shield. Uh, okay, yeah, let's grab the iron shield. And... Yeah, I'd love to go with steel armor, but it gets kind of expensive, so... Let's grab, let's grab some iron shit for now. Let's see, so... Iron armor, greaves, helmet, left gauntlet, right gauntlet. Uh, what? No iron boots? You suck. Uh, that's light armor, but it's better than having nothing, I guess. Psst, hero! Kill him like the dog he is, and steal his shit! Actually, twenty-eight, forty-eight. Helmet. I think I might have enough for some for some steel equipment. instead of the iron greaves. And let's see. Got shield, greaves, uh, armor, boots, helmet, gauntlets. Yeah, sounds seems good for now. Uh about Potions. What do you got for potions? Wait, scroll of Heartwise. Scroll of Jothas Winter Guest. Amasi Intervention. That, that's nice. But actually, instead, I, want, uh, I do want to save some money and get the uh, Mark and Return spell over in Balmora. Because that'll be very nice. Uh, ooh, Armor's Hammer. Definitely use some of those. And some probes. Those would be nice, too. I'll buy... Three of these for now. What about potions? What have we got for potions? Not a damn thing, you suck. Now let's equip our shit. Alright, I'm just going to store this over in the house. See you, hero. Study time. Alright, hey, thanks for coming by, blue eyes. I am looking mighty weird, but brand new adventure, so not much I can do. The day is yours. All right, so let's go ahead and head out to Balmora. For Saute. Uh, gonna buy it and put it on shit like rice or sandwiches. <laughs> Sounds like good shit, man. Sounds like real good shit. That one thing I learned in this game, which kind of sucks. That gotta keep your stamina in check. So often, gotta put, you know, gotta 
stop running, do a little walking, let that stamina come back. Alright, where am I heading? This way to Ebonheart, Belmora. Even for a game that is, like, really fucking old, I'd say this game came out in the 90s. Hold on, I'm actually going to check that really quick. When did this game come out? Uh, 2002, so this game is, what, 15, yeah, 15 years old? This game looks, this, it still looks, in my opinion, in my, in my opinion, this game still looks really good for a game that's 15 years old. That wasn't there. Yeah, one of you. Sorry, friend, I must have experience. That's right, you glitch out on that rock. Uh, Fable was 2004. See, and, and here's the thing. I know, okay, uh, everybody said that, okay, there are a lot of people who, to people who were fans of the Fable series, said Fable 1 was good for its time. Then everybody says Fable 2 sucked and Fable 3 was awesome. I played Fable, well, I played the first Fable way back in the day, like when it first came out. Not saying it was a bad game, but all it really, all it made me do, all it, uh, all it made me at, do at the end of the game is want to play Morrowind. To me, Fable was like a poor man's Morrowind. Like, Fable was good, but Morrowind was just better. Fable 1 was good, rest were ass. Uh, see, I see. I never played anything past the first one. I mean, the graphics still look really good. Oh yeah, yeah, the graphics were awesome. But it just seemed like the first Fable was... It, it seemed like they were trying to copy Morrowind but didn't really do a good enough job, in my opinion. You know, Mar Morrowind was just so much more... Uh, was so much more vast. But yeah, to... Uh, but yeah, a lot of people I've talked to who are like, you know, longtime fans of the Fable series, you know, said, yeah, one was good, two was ass, and three was was better. Three was better than two. And Valmora. You are a fucking side quest that is pointless to me. Oh man, don't tell me Marwin crashed again. Oh, and I haven't saved in a bit either. Right, while I'm waiting for it to do something.
uh, checking around on the internet really quick. All right, yeah, it's it's still crashing. All right, I'm going to try something here, something I was reading real quick. Uh, let me see, go to local folders. They're saying I can run it in, like, compatibility mode. Okay, so run it in... Uh, let's try 98 compatibility. Whoa, okay, that's not what I wanted you to do. What the hell? Okay, put you back over there. You just did all kinds of shit I did not ask you to do, but... Options. Window. Apparently Morrowind's being a piece of shit right now. Well, fuck. Alright. Intermission! Alright. Uh, pff, fuck. 
Uh, we'll just start up some Skyrim then. Because Morrowind wants to be a piece of shit right now. Alright. Let's change game. Let's change game. Let's get my voice out of there. <laughs> See this is this this is also why I actually also have the uh, I actually have Morrowind for the original Xbox as well. I usually play it on my 360 because the because the PC version is so freaking wonky. It decides what it wants to do and when it wants to freaking do it. You know the only pro the only problem with the 360 version is the fact that you know. I don't know, it's just, uh, it's, it's the 360 emulation. You know, it's just so slow, it loads everything so goddamn slowly. If I remember right, you know, this is a new character. I was half me as excited for another Elder Scrolls, other half is dreading Bethesda fucking ruining it. I don't know. So far, Be on your way. so Imperial far, Be on your way. Bethesda hasn't come out with anything that I've been disappointed in. You know, I mean, yeah, even like a uh, even freaking Elder Scrolls Online, I enjoyed it. It was an MMO, so I couldn't re I couldn't really get into it, but I still you know enjoyed it for what it was. You know, at the end of the day, I'd rather be playing a a real Elder Scrolls game like Skyrim or Morrowind or something like that. Yeah, who know who even knows how long it'll be and how, and how many times uh, Bethesda will still re-release Skyrim before they actually come out with Elder Scrolls Six. We Ooh, lavender. Need to get me some weed though. First I wanna come over here and kill this giant. That took a second to load in. Actually. Just so they just they don't say, oh, you didn't help. There, I hit him with an arrow. You 
yourself well, you could make for a decent shield, brother. And now, in order, and we show up to solve problems, if not for me, the old man, if you go to him. Uh... They killed Fallout and Dishonored 2 was a shit fest. So far, I've been dis I've been enjoying Dishonored 2. I've actually been really enjoying it so far. Uh, and yeah, I know you hate Fallout 4, but I actually enjoy it. Uh, they linked the mouse acceleration, which you couldn't disable to frame rates. Uh, then had the worst fucking optimization. People with SLI Titans couldn't get 60 FPS. And the game was mediocre as fuck, if God forbid you had the fortitude to actually play it. Good luck. Uh... Like I said, I, I, I enjoyed it. You know, like I said, I've been enjoying Dishonored 2 so far. And yes, I know you hate Fallout 4. But, you know, I, I actually enjoyed it. To me, it, was, it wasn't a horrible game. I've de I've definitely seen bigger shit fests from other companies that people tend to ignore. You know, like pretty much like every fucking Call of Duty game to come out recently. Uh, I was trying to be a cunt too. I'm just passionate because I loved Fallout and Dishonored 1. I loved them both, too, and I've actually been enjoying both of them. Yeah, like, so far, uh, you know, what I've played with Dishonored 2, I, I do like Dishonored 1 better. You know, but so far, to me, like, you know, Dishonored 2 isn't a bad game. I've definitely been enjoying it. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sick. There's a nip in the air. Honest pay for honest work. 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 I need wheat. Lots and lots of wheat to make the good potions. Good COD was 4 and World at War. Black Ops was passable. I actually loved World at War. Oh yeah, World at War was fucking awesome. I own the PS3 version. It just pissed me off that they pretty much allowed the the online of the PS3 version just to go to shit. And it's allowed pretty much everybody to hack it. To where to the point it's unplayable. Gameplay was amazing, especially the setting. The balance was great. It wasn't shoot 30 bullets in one second and auto kill people by holding down the trigger. Much, much slower fire rates and shitload of recoil. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, World of War was fucking amazing. No doubt about that. Bales of hay. Uh, yeah, I didn't have online access then anyway. We used to four-way split screen all the time. Game itself doesn't look like a Call of Duty at all. Um, speaking of which, what do you think of uh, Call of Duty World War II coming out? What are you thinking of that? Good to have you by my... Honest pay for honest work. Honest pay for honest work. Uh, wheat, 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 wheat. I need wheat. Oh, there's a wheat over here. Where the wheat be at? Uh, game itself doesn't look like Call of Duty at all. The entire thing is completely set apart from the rest. 
I'll wait for it to come out, watch some streams, then decide if it's worth trying. Uh, to me, to me, it personally, se it seems like they're pretty much trying to copy what uh, Battlefield 1 did. Which, you know, granted, Battlefield 1 was extremely fun. You know, but yeah, like, like you said, we'll see where it goes. But so far, yeah, to me, it just seems like they're trying to copy Battlefield 1. Uh, if it's anything like the original, it could be great. I, st I still have uh, Call of Duty 3, which that one was fun, too. Yeah, World of War was definitely better, but Call of Duty 3 was pretty good. the wheat. Cause there's not much of it around here. There's a little more over this way, that much I know. I can grab some cabbages here. I love how he says that. It's like, you know, Oh, I heard there was this big freaking monster that tore apart our whole fucking, a whole fucking city. If it comes here, we'll be ready for it. Uh, no you won't, man. Fucking no you won't. Then also it could be shit times Hunter just trying to use the reputation of World at War to push it. Eh, who knows. We'll see what happens. What I'll probably end up doing is... Because... I mainly uh, game on PC anyway. Uh, my consoles are pretty much just for exclusives at this point. However, I also use my consoles kind of as uh, demos. Kind of as dem demo testers. So when the game does come out, I'll probably like pick up the uh, console version out of like a red box, something like that. Try it for a few hours see what I think then and then if I think it's good I'll wait and get it cheap I'll wait and get it cheap on PC yeah it's kind of, it's kind of sad I have like not been playing my consoles really at all recently uh, like the like really the only uh, quote unquote yeah this could this could even be subjective the only quote-unquote console I've been playing recently is uh, the Switch, and I was playing uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like I said, calling that a console is, you know, this water says we could always use help picking crops. You know, is uh, up to interpretation. Honest pay for honest work. Honest pay for honest work. Uh, speculating is never actually productive. Yeah, and, I, and I, here's one thing I've learned. Speculating is is never, never leads to good things, and neither does hyping anything up. Any game I've ever played has never lived up to hype. If anything, hype kills a game. The more hype it gets, the worse the game is probably going to be. Case in point, in my opinion, Mass Effect Andromeda. I was so fucking hyped for that game and didn't even remotely live up to the hype. Either A, get hyped and disappointed, or B, get hyped and it's less satisfying on release. Yeah. Either way, disappointment. You know, it, it, it's best it's best to go into games pretty much with as little expectation as possible. You know, if you don't have any hope if you don't have any hopes to begin with then less chance your hopes are going to get are going to get dashed. Plain and simple. But yeah, like, like I say, I think it's sad that you know, I have these, you know, awesome consoles and shit, and I don't really use them. Like I say, the, the the most I've been playing on consoles recently is freaking Breath of the Wild on my Switch. 
other than that, I've just been playing PC. I have... I have seriously been, uh... Ooh, I can sell shit to you, can't I? I have traveled. Take a look. Uh, even if it comes close to living up from assuming the studio didn't actually engineer your hype, which they almost always do anyways, it's going to be less exciting because your expectations are already up there. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very, very true, very true. Um, so ring. Oh, I need to sell this cabbage. May your road lead you to warm sand. Uh, I don't try to think good or bad of a game. Yeah, which is definitely the best way to do it. Alright, yeah. Thought I passed some flowers. Need something? There's a nip in the honest bay for honest work. Alright, now to head into White Run. Uh just neutral and have the attitude of we'll see what it's like, pretty much. That is definitely the best attitude to have. But, uh, yeah, because here, I have an Xbox One, I have a PS4. I haven't really been playing either one all that much recently. Um, I've, yeah, like I said, the most I've been playing console-wise recently is my Switch. And, like I said, I pretty much just have the consoles for the exclusives. And then, uh, um, like I said, to pretty much, like, demo games when they come out. Official business only. You know, it's like I've been thinking about selling one, of, selling one of them, like keeping either the Xbox One or the PS4. But I don't know. I might just, you know, kind of pack them both up and put them in the closet for on the rare occasion I actually do use them. Sell the consoles, upgrade PC. <laughs> Well, I think the reason I don't necessarily just want to up and sell the console, uh, either one, is because I have friends that I play, well, that every so often at least, I play, I play both. You know, granted, the, uh, the only really, uh, really the only friend of mine that I play uh, Xbox One with is my buddy Scott, and... But then, uh, and I actually play more stuff on PS4 with, my, with my, my, my buddies Jonah, Tyler, Noah. I play more shit on PS4 than I do than I do on Xbox One. But then again, I would feel bad. Uh, what do I need for stealing it? Crudnam more. Fuck that noise. Crudnam and iron. Yeah, fuck that noise. You know, but at the same time, I would feel bad selling the Xbox One. Because just recently, recently, like last month, uh, that same friend, Scott, he spent a good $50 to uh, to get a game for me, Ark Survival Evolved, so that me and him could play together. I mean, granted, uh, there's the PC version, and I hear that uh, they're going to be coming out, uh, the PC version is going to be coming out with a uh, basic uh, they're going to be doing cross-platform, so that like PC, three uh, PC, Xbox One, and PS4 can play together. But yeah, I would feel kind of bad if you know he spent that money for us to play this game together, and then I fucking sold the console. Ah damn! So okay, so you can't sell it ever. <laughs> Pretty much, that's how I feel. I would just feel like a total asshole 
if he spent them if he spent the money to buy me the game at the very least i can't sell it like i said until the uh until the until the cross platform happens Yeah, until the until the cross platform happens, and then I can just buy the PC version and play with him. Yeah, until then I can't touch the Xbox One. Nightshade, Dragon's Tongue. But yeah, if but if they ever do the cross platform, then then I can sell the Xbox One. Because honestly, really, there's not much point at this point. There's not much point in having an Xbox One. Cut. I mean, technically not an asshole, but honestly, only an asshole would consider that a possibility. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh. Uh. Good on your mate. That was nice of him. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Scott's an awesome guy. He's de he's definitely an awesome dude. Um. I mean, because it's one of those of the two, Xbox One. I would definitely sell between Xbox One and PS4. Because of the exclusives, you know, there's nothing really exclusive to the Xbox One. Because all of its exclusives, Gears, Halo, you know, like Halo Wars, Halo Wars 2, uh, Gears of War 4, and all that. It's like, they're ma they made PC versions of those games as well. Yeah, you have to get them through the Microsoft Store, but yeah, there's PC versions of those games as well. You know, and these are the Xbox exclusives. You look rather pale. Could be you know, so like of like of the two, the Xbox One is the least likely that I would keep because you know, like any of its exclusives, I can probably just get on freaking uh PC. That'd be worth thirty. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know. That'd be worth sixty. I'm trying to get money out of this. Thirty-two. So right now those resist frosts are looking good. Seventeen. So let's get some resist frost potions going on. But yeah, but and I I'll probably end up selling the Xbox One. Uh, like I said, once uh. 32. Yeah, once the, uh... Once, uh, Ark becomes cross-platform, because I said, at that point, there's not really much point in keeping it around. see here yeah, definitely keep those fortify healths health increased by 17 points and restores 20 points of health hells yes um resist resist don't need restore magic because i don't use magic all these yeah keep them around just in case i need them all right then Okay, so first things first, gotta make. Do you get to the cloud? That's the oh, let's side. let's make some leather first. Of course you don't. Yeah, walk all over me, why don't you? Okay, first things first, let's make a an iron helmet because this imperial this imperial helmet is making me sick. I 
already... Uh, let me grab some firewood so I can upgrade the longbow. Actually, let me go grab a bunch of firewood. Because then once... Well, let's, let's finish upgrading everything first. Okay, and that's done. I still have 27 ingots. So, yeah, let's go get a bunch of firewood so we can upgrade the, the longbow and then just make a bunch of arrows to uh, to up our smithing. That was just lying around? Good find. Yeah, it's because Lord knows a wood, you can't find a woodcutter's axe anywhere. Okay, so doing this, you, you get six per, six per run. I have like 27 ingots. Uh, so, six, 12, 18, 24. So, gotta do this like four more times. Then I'll have enough to upgrade the bow and then just make a shit ton of arrows. Honestly, Elder Scrolls game is just perfect to kick back with after, you know, the shit day at work I had, which I told you about. Oh yeah, Elder Scrolls is fucking best. I mean, maybe I'll maybe I'll stream some Morrowind tomorrow night, but I'll actually uh, play it on the 360. Yeah, the load times suck, but at least it's a hell of a lot more stable. I think the reason that the load times suck is because of the the shitty 360 emulation. That I could, that I could just play some Oblivion. Oblivion's the fucking shit as well. Okay, so that should be, um, care Cumber, damn it. Uh, shit, I need some more firewood anyway. I mean, I don't mind walking it back to the smith, but... I love how all this wood is just, just infinitely respawning. I mean, okay, as, mu as much as I love the Fallout series, between Fallout and Elder Scrolls, I would always pick Elder Scrolls because it always seems like more, the world always just seems more fleshed out. Like, in the Fallout series, like, you know, like with Fallout 3, there's the main story and then just a bunch of side quests. You know, there's not really any other, like, full-fleshed, things for you to do aside from the dlcs fallout 4 yeah you know you have the choice between uh you have the choice between like you know uh helping mr house going your own way uh helping the legion or helping the ncr but those kind of fall in with the main storyline you know it they don't really feel like their own thing same thing with Fallout 4. Uh, at the very least, like with Elder Scrolls games, like, hey, I have the main storyline, but then once I finish that, uh, yeah, like I said with Skyrim, you know, yeah, I have the main story, but then once I finish that, I have the Companions, the Mages Guild, the Dark Brotherhood, the Thieves Guild, you know, I have all these other things that, yeah, while not as, a, as expansive as the main storyline is, 
they're still pretty fully fleshed out. You know, and that's awesome. Uh, I have the leather strips. Yeah, I'll stick with this. Level up. Uh, let's get some more health going on. Let's get smithing. How many arrows do I have now? Uh, 686 arrows. I shoot an arrow in the air. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? I wonder how long it takes to come down. Oh shit, uh, Elrin, did you ever see that one video? There's a video I saw eons ago on, uh, on Skyrim. Where basically, um, what was it? It was fucking like, uh, this guy, he's standing, like, at High Hrothgar. He's standing at the throat of the world. And he just shoots a ran- He just shoots an arrow into the air. And as soon as he does- it goes into like a cinematic view and he ends up like killing somebody in Morthal or something like that. Old friend, patron of the great clan it was actually a pretty sweet video. Yeah, you've seen it. Yeah, that was that was awesome. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Yarl will want to speak to you. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes. Uh, last I was heading this way. By Ismir, Irelet was right. What do you say now, Preventus? Yeah, I would I would love to have something like that happen. Which is actually one of the reasons I stream. If I was streaming and something like that happened, oh my god, I would that would go all over the internet. That would be like my crowning achievement if I actually got something like that to happen. I mean, it's one of those. I want to say that video was faked, only because. I think like how the how the game works is like after I think like after something is so, is so far of a different a distance away from you it despawns. So if you're on top of the if you're at the throw of the world I don't really think you could kill anything with an arrow cuz once it's so far away from you it would uh it would despawn. That's what I think at least. I may be wrong though. Suitable for someone of your Particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Do to do. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous 
Straight to the point, eh? No need. I, uh, go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. This is a priority now. Itself. Anything we, we know use, got fight the right. Do 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 do. Uh, probably tomorrow I'm going to be spending most of my day playing uh, Breath of the Wild because I'm pretty close to beating it. I'm, pre I'm pretty close to the, to the end of the game, I'm pretty sure. Oops. Hey guys, come on. I want a place to sleep. Guys. Guys. You guys suck. May the gods watch over your battle, my friend. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new bag. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. You're that I visitor, Ben Poken. Sure summer. thing. It's yours for a day. Uh, so at 10. That's well, almost 11, so what? Wait till about eight o'clock. Give me a mug of ale. Certainly. What's it? All right. Let's go kick some ass. Let's go kick some names and take some ass. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh, he's the best blocker since Joe Montana. Joe Montana was a quarterback, you idiot. Having Drillin rush up. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna stay hidden. Gotta hide so I can get sneak damage. Shit. Don't think I'll be able to get sneak damage, but I can continue to try. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Dun-dun-dun-dun! 
God damn it, I will get a sneak attack on this guy. Damn it. Get up the rocks. And... Fuck! I shot him right in the neck. Nice. That's close enough. Oh, I'm sorry. What's close enough? Dun -dun -dun -dun. What was that? Oh, there's a chest up here, I do believe. Yeah, I'll, ca I'll call this build the Armored Wasp. Kill him with, kill him with bee stings. This is probably going to end badly. Well, could end it worse. I can get you with an arrow. Damn it. I mean, Lord knows I have over 600 arrows. Lord knows I could probably spare a few. Well, you saw me. Come and get me. Yes, Rilo, motherfucker. That is better than my longbow, isn't it? Eight versus eight, and that hasn't been upgraded yet, and I can upgrade that, so I will grab that. Uh, don't need 
that either. Oh, I already had a hunting bow. Stamina. Arrows. Tree one of my arrows. Damn it. I want to get a sneak shot going in before, before he died. All right. Snake, snake, dolphin, just like usual. What's my weight looking like? Doing good. Because I, ra I raised up... Yeah, stamina. So I got a little bit more carry weight. This is... Paralysis Potion. I'll take that. And scroll Fireball. Now 
That's poison. Oh, potions. It releases poison. Have I mentioned I hate spiders? Potions. Don't leave me for our hey. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, but help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Where are you going? Get me down from this. It's coming loose. I can feel it. your kidney with that one. That is how we take care of Dragor. How many arrows did you take? Too many, that's how many. No, you want to. Ah, damn it. Like, damn it, I want somebody to trigger this trap.
Oh man, I love making them trigger their own trap. I'll save these for the big dude. Because I'll need a little bit of extra damage. Another level up. Let's get some more health. We'll draw two. Let's see what else we got. It's 30. Using blockable zoom. Hell yeah. So again, slows time. Don't get a chance of critical hit. What's up, buddy? <laughs> One gold. It's like, fuck you, buddy. Uh, what time is it? It's about 3.30. Probably gonna have to end the stream soon. Soon-ish. Come on. Come on, princess. One more room. Well, there's this dude coming up. Yeah, this dude here. more main room and then
Then the room with the where you get the dragon stone. That noise is annoying me. Ooh. Well, actually, hold on. 13 versus 11. Let's go with that ancient Nord bow. I'll dump one of the hunting bows uh, and a pickaxe. Got me some ancient Nord arrows as well. Did it did do. Next, we're gonna have the main chamber. First here we have the Hall of Stories, as that one dude calls it. Okay, so what is the combination again? Let me see, Bear, Moth, Owl. do I have right now just some frostbite venom who damage stamina I can damage his stamina you resisted the poison. Aha! Take that. Dragonstone. Garnet. Arrows. Uh, I could sell you for some Money. Let's see here, poison. Ooh. 
Ooh, creative potions are more powerful. I'll take that. Garnet, gold, potion of strength. There's a potion over here, if I do remember. Conjurer's potion. Awesome-o. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the Guardian Stones really quick. Switch up to the uh, Thief Stone. So I can get archery and everything up quicker. to white run everybody's gonna be closed right now Give a little time for people to get where they're going. Oh, so what, what do I need to upgrade the ancient Nord bow? Uh, steel. I can get that. Uh, Alright, so. That upgrades to 16, 17. Yeah. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Morns, I don't claim to be the best. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything. You have any steel? Helmets. You do. I'll buy one steel from you. And I want to sell this hunting bow. The great sword. Itch my eye for a second. Well, actually, I want to make more. I want to grab some more steel from you. Uh, yeah, let me grab some more steel from you, because I want to make. I want to go grab some firewood and make some arrows. Don't forget to check inside the shop. So I can make steel now. Steel arrows. So let me go one more run. Uh, well, first let me hit the shop over here and sell this other crap I've come across. Wait, why did I come in here? Could be a taxi. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Elthor. Everything. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Mm -hmm. Gold necklace. The ring. Ring. Don't need a Conjurer's Potion, or a Magicka Potion, I'll keep the rest of those, don't need you to.
do I some may call this junk uh, me we have call them treasures and remember I'll give you the best Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Alright, you know what? Screw you. You're using this. I know there's another one over here. Yep, right here. I'll just use this. This meat won't do it all. Too much fat. It smells warm. I hate this guy. The woods are that way, outside the walls. Walk straight ahead. Can't miss them. Good luck on your hunt. Eh. Good day. Uh, Nazim is a dick. Hey, hey, noble, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, my good friend. How are you? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. All right, so the ancient Nord arrows are 10 versus also 10. So let me just run that. I'll run these out first. I don't claim to be the oh, wait, did I? Oh, don't tell me I... Don't tell me I buffed it. I buffed it. Damn it. Uh, what's the build with this char character? I basically... I'm calling this character the, ar the Armored Wasp. Basically, heavy armor and archery. Good, by the way. It's early morning and I'm playing some Skyrim. Nice. Yeah, I call, I call this build the Armored Wasp. Yeah, mm -hmm. Archery and heavy armor. Because why not? That's something I haven't done before. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I help my father in more ways than welcome to war. Take a look. Come on, I need one more steel ingot, please, please, please. Yeah. Oh, lots of steel. Ooh. Actually, I could uh. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I will. Because I do want to get my smithing up. So let me go make some fire. You can't shut your eyes, I'll do it for you! And Noble with the follow. Thank you kindly. You are a gentleman and a scholar, my friend. Are you adding, adding any magic to the mix or just straight archery? I'm planning on straight archery, but I'll, I'll, I'll kind of play it by ear. Kind of just see how, uh, see how it goes. If I feel like adding some magic would be beneficial, then I will. But uh, I'll play it by ear. Right now, I'm pretty much just going straight up heavy armor and archery. Uh, 
Actually, I should, uh, I should start making... Uh, see, I usually... I usually don't bother making any steel armor. Because I find it doesn't really give you that much more protection than upgraded iron. So I, I usually just, you know... I kind of just stick with iron up until I... Uh, whoops. Okay. I kind of just stick with iron up until I... Uh, I, until I can make Dwarven. How did I get that much over? What the hell? Okay. What am I over? Well, probably because of all this iron. Yeah, it's 35, 6, 5. Yeah, I pretty much got the uh, the mace around. Where'd my mace go? Oh, it's over, probably over in weapons, yeah. Got the mace around just in case I need some, I need some close-up, but... That's pretty much being negated. Okay, because I have 27 firewood. And they're five each. Oh, shit. I forgot to give that back. Um, well, fart. Alright, let me drop you for right now. But out of paranoia, I'm going to take you with me. Uh, that's what I do. I don't worry about armor until I can make decent armor, pretty much. Oop. But I do like to use the steel and, uh... Get the smithing up. I like the, I like the arrows. Don't weigh anything. And they get your, uh... Smithing up, rather... I buffed it again, didn't I? Ah! I was supposed to save, stay, to save one steel ingot. Damn it! I suck! Oh well, level up. Stamina up. Too shy of getting eagle eye and crit shot. Since I'm only too shy, I'm actually going to hold hold on to that. Uh, Well, how's my heavy armor doing? I went the wrong direction, but whatever. Uh, okay, yeah. Ah, uh, well, buffed it. One away from being able to make Dwarven, which is nice. Oh, well, I never thought of arrows. I'll have to try that. Yeah, as long as you're making the best the best type of arrows that you can. You know, like, so like for right now is steel, but next, next will be Dwarven and whatnot. Because they're cheap to make. All you need is one piece, is one of that ingot and some firewood. And it goes up rather decently. That and they and they don't weigh anything, and then one and then once, then I, I you can make orcish. Yeah, and actually I've noticed from dwarven onward, the arrows will actually sell for like one gold each, and then I think orcish are like two. It's like yeah, arrows are they're not bad if you're they're not bad if you're trying to get your smithing up. Then I think the numbers just become hilarious. I have over six hundred. I have six hundred seventy-two steel arrows. To me, that's just hilarious. You see, the terminology is clearly first era or even er ah, the Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems that is 
So your information was correct after all. And we have our friends here. Uh, I also have to visit an orc stronghold because the blacksmiths are stingy with that or with that ore. Nice work. Around 8k arrows stored. Don't even own a bow. <laughs> you need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. Alright. I'm actually going to save. Yeah, save right about here. And I'm going to call this a stream. Because I got to get some sleep. I've got work tomorrow. Oops. Do and remove. Yeah. yeah I got work tomorrow, so I've got to get me some sleep. But thank you so much, everybody, for coming by. Thank you, Elrin. Thank you, Noble. And thank you once again for the follow. You all are awesome, lovely people. I hope I see you tomorrow night when I'll be streaming again. Probably some more Skyrim or pretty much like whatever I'm in the mood for. But yes, thank you all for being here. You all are lovely, awesome people. And I hope I get to see you guys again. Everybody take care, and I shall see you. Wait, well, this is the third stream in a row I've come at the end of. <laughs> uh, that's uh, I hate it when that happens, especially when it's a good stream going on. Uh, Alright, take care everybody, and I hope I get to see you guys tomorrow night. Have a good one.